We're now returning to nodal analysis, but we have added a new element into our circuit. So previously we had dealt with resistors and an independent current source. Now we are adding a dependent current source. So let's see how that works. Now notice that this circuit here is very similar to circuit 1B. Let me go back up to there. Uh, here's circuit 1, I'm sorry, 1A. Uh, well, that's 1A. This should be 1B. Yeah, circuit 1B. Uh, notice that it's the same structure, but we have replaced this top, what was a resistor, with a current, a controlled current source. Okay, so let me go back up and actually we'll cheat here or we'll just be efficient. I'm going to grab all of this and we will copy it and see how much of it we can reuse. Okay, okay and I will mark this up in red. So let's go back to uh, node 1. So we're going to work with this guy here. And let's sum the currents that are leaving. We still have uh, we still have V1 times 0.1 that's leaving through here. We still have uh, the current flowing to the right through the 5 ohms as 0.2 times V1 minus V2. That hasn't changed. But what has changed is this term here. Okay, and what we're going to replace that with is so we'll write that um, we'll say 0 0.1 Vx okay we know that that's I mean it's a current source that the current is leaving from node 1 so it's in the right direction we don't have to put a minus sign in front of it and that current has a value 0.1 Vx we need to substitute something in for Vx but we'll do that uh, in a moment okay so that ends up we're going to cross out, um, maybe what I should do is go ahead and substitute that, okay? So this equals 0.1 times, and let's see where Vx is. Vx is right here, and notice that it is the voltage of between the node 1 and ground. So it's actually the voltage V1, okay? It's just V1, so this is times V1. So that means that in our first expression, we have no term involving V3, but we have another term that gets added to um, to the V1 term. We get plus 0.1. Okay, and so this becomes 0.45. Okay, now let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and, and erase these out here. So what changes is that there is no dependence on V3, so that will be uh, 0. And the first term is no longer 0.35, it's 0.45. Okay, let's continue. Now at node 2, notice that node 2 sums three currents. One of them is going through the 5 ohms. One is the 10 amps entering, and one is going through the 10 uh, ohms uh, bridging node 2 and 3. None of those currents involves the 0.1 Vx, right? The 0.1 Vx current source only connects to nodes 1 and 3. And so this whole expression here is unchanged, all right? So these, these are all good here. We don't have to change any of that. So let's move on to the third node. And here we're going to find that, um, again, it's going to be the term involving V3 and V1. That's the one that's going to change, right? because there's no 20 ohm resistor there. Instead, we have not plus 0.1 Vx, we're going to have minus 0.1 Vx, right? because the current is actually entering. We got 0.1 Vx entering. And again, we'll replace that with minus 0.1 V1. 
and now we will uh, clean up the final form. We'll get rid of this term here and we will get rid of this term here because that came from um, the last term of the of the uh, that came from the 20 ohm resistor that's no longer there and instead we're going to replace it with minus 0.1 okay so this goes to zero and the second one does not change and then this first one will go to minus 0.1 and now we have our new our new equation. Now notice that in this case, remember the symmetry I told you before, that there was going to be a symmetry across across these. And well, that broke down slightly. It still held for um, for two of them, this these two and these two. But this right here, that's not symmetric anymore. And you'll see that when you have things like dependent sources. At this point, we have three uh, equations, three unknowns, and uh, you use whatever method you'd use otherwise. There's no difference now between this nodal equation and the previous one that didn't involve a dependent source.